Okay, and good morning, and not just good morning, but good Friday. We have with us, if you're here, this elite we athlete. have the elite athlete who's trained by cycling here today. That's been his sole contribution to I his... I film stars, I'm wearing my shades. Fitness. <laughs> okay, so who do we have in the room? Who's Kate Lane is watching? I hope I Steve's with you. Hey, Katie and Steve, Steve. we have the... We have the arabesque coming up. Absolutely. Don Steve. Alliance, hello. Came Happy on Easter. Bike, came on my bike stage today. <laughs> and Pip Paul, good to see I you, bet. Pip, again. Hope Deb's with you, Sarah Hart. Hill, come on, let's get these people in. <laughs> this is your last live video until April the 20th, unless Me, I decide that I'm bored. Me, my friend. <laughs> Emily Rose Connor, that would assume Emily also. Rose. And. <laughs> Just get my nails done, please. <laughs> Katie Lane said that um, Steve is watching. Anne Barron, hello. Come on, Steve, take it And Kirsty Merriman, great. She's here, as is Laura. Ha ha, she's here for the laugh. Well, Ken Laura Everett, Kewitt. happy Easter to you. Laura Kewitt. Yeah. Whoa, Sue Lewis, Laura. good morning. Emma Williams, great time to see you here as well. Obviously, Tom's messing around over there. We're not using the orange ball in this session, and neither do you need sunshades, just so you know. Jonathan and Lydia, it's hello. Two days in a row. Hi, Lorna. Hi, Lynn and Jonathan. <laughs> Tom's just having his hello, Susan. Tom, Hi, Susan. Susan, not Su Suzanne. Susan. It's Susan Hands. Michelle, hello. Michelle Scattergood. Everyone's saying good morning. Good Are morning, we having a great morning. time? Jackie Dearden, you're good with Friday. us. Caroline and Rick, both Hi, in there. And Rick. <laughs> Tom's going keep, to teach this session. I'm going to do it. Room, Samantha, Caroline. hello keep, there. Keep the dogs away, Caroline. Okay, no dogs. Margaret, good to see you again. She says hi, TNT. Hi, guys. Okay, there are 23 of us able to watch so far. And I repeat, hello, Debbie Davis. He, she likes the shades, Tom. Uh, thank you very much. <laughs> he cycled here, so it feels like he's an athlete. <laughs> Debbie Goldie, you made it. Good girl. I hope this is video 16 for you. <laughs> this is going to be an Easter special, people. It's so special just because Tom's here. Special right. because I have to teach someone with special needs. When and... I'm here, you can now believe in the resurrection. <laughs> <laughs> hello. Is anyone else going to say hello so I can see who's in the room? It gives me a kind of a bit of a visual and helps me appeal to... The audience, really. Um, although when Tom's in the room, I find I'm completely taken up with his no, presence. No, no, no. So I'm going to be a good boy. He's going to be a good boy a today. Good Friday, I'm going to give boy. you another 20 seconds. Let me just explain the Sorry. setup. So, Tom, would you like to put the orange ball down, please? Sure, Thank you. Darling. Take your shades off because that'd be useful. No, I'll keep them on. This is my style today. <laughs> Tom's going to take his shades off and stand at the bottom of his mat, acting as though he's about to plot his workout. Oh my goodness, we're going to have fun. Okay, people, so you're going to stand at the bottom end of your mat. I will soon be um, coming down. So standing at the bottom of the mat. Feet are parallel, no dancing at this point. So feet are parallel and you're breathing. So feet are parallel, but not that wide, Thomas. Have them slightly narrower. Okay. So feet parallel, I'll show you a frontal view. My hair okay? Uh, your hair's gorgeous, darling. Okay. okay. And then straight into your squats and stand. Tom, pull your knees slightly towards each other and actually they've done this before. Exhaling into the squat and back. So as you go down and up, just do two more. We're going to do um, quite a, a rapid warm up. When you go down into this squat, stay down. So Tom's going to stay down. Put your hands on your knees and do five really deep breaths. And as you breathe deeply, press your heels into the floor as the breathing happens. <laughs> Tom's got this length through the spine. He's almost looking as though he's done some Pilates in his life. Okay, right. The next breath out, you will nod the chin. You will not do the crossing over of the legs like that. Tom, behave. And then you will nod the chin and roll down and once again stay. So your first position down there is to walk your hands to the place where you get your stretch into your hamstrings and glutes. So you let your neck go. Breathe. No, no, stay down there. Breathe. Let your neck go. Behave. So, Tom's going to push his hands into the floor oh. and press his heels into the floor. Oh. He's going to pull his hip bones up <laughs> and breathe in and out of this area here and find his lat. He's got two more breaths. Press your heels down, Tom. 
Keep your seat bones, the fingers that are pressing upwards. All right. Okay, and he's going to walk what? as you are what? all the way into the plank position. Oh, he's, he's already groaning. Come We're on. one minute in. Come on. So he's in his plank position. His shoulders are going to pull away from his neck. He's going to fire up his glutes. So Tom's hips naturally drop, okay? Oh. Um, it's just because he's weak. Uh, most of you, if you breathe, you'll get your rib cage. So Tom, if you walk your hands backwards a tad, they're under your shoulder now, and pull the crown of your head forwards. So this first warm-up moment is because you really need to work. Pull your heels to the ceiling, Tom, so everything feels like it's lifted. All right, your next position is going to take your knees down to the floor. Kneel, so Tom, yeah. lower your knees down and find your all fours position. So Tom's going to walk his... Hands okay, back. Okay, he's going to walk his hands back. I in your, know, I in know. your force position. In my old force position. <laughs> we're going to do stretching. So we're first. We're going the bum. First thing we're going to do is the cat stretch. So big breath in, exhaling. Tuck your bottom under and roll the spine with the breath. It doesn't mean you move through your arms. It means you bend and your arms and legs stay still. Do the opposite. Keep your arms and legs staying still. As you extend, pulling the crown oh, of your head to the ceiling. Perfect. Okay, Tom, just walk your hands backwards under your shoulders a bit. That's it. When you stay in this position here, so everyone stay in that big hollowed back. You, your tailbone, sit bones are reaching upwards, and the crown of your hairstyle. Watch my hair. It is reaching back, and your armpits are pulling back. Just once more, go into your round back. So Tom's going to roll through the spine. When you get here, it's about the rib cage cinching to the hip bones. Thank Inhaling. You and exhaling, relaxing the shoulders, okay? And then the next time, Tom's just going to stay in a flat back. Flat back. That isn't a flat back though, is it? Ex I, get your ribs to <laughs> co comply. It's the All I right. I IKEA move. <laughs> flat back. <laughs> flat back. All right, Tom, Tom's now going to do some tricep dips. So oh. exhale, the rib cage in. Stay there, Tom, breathe. You've got to go forwards, remember, and then push back up. So travel forwards and back up. Do it slowly. So the slow motion version would mean that the rib cage feels the connection first, and then try and notice, Tom, that you're twisting down, so you work more effort through your left hand side. Because I'm stronger there. No, you're not. You get weaker there. Get down into the left, slightly better, pull the shoulder away from the neck. I don't think your rib cage is doing anything, you just sound like you're rasping for your last breath. Oh, give me a breath. And one come more. On, come on. <laughs> Let that go. Okay, and he's going to come up to stand. Excellent. I you who are Pilates people yeah. will roll up to stand. Get to the bottom end of your mat. Okay. Now, okay, find your squat position and stay. Breathe. Exhale, roll down. Inhale, you're at the bottom. Breathe out, everyone walk across your mat into your long arm. Stay, pull your knees down into a three-quarter length. Always pull your hands under your shoulders. You have a strange sense of where your shoulders are. Exhale the rib cage and take your hands now wider to step them out, out. So you're in this position here, a bit of a wider base. I feel pain ahead. Chest press as, take your hands wider, Tom. There you go. And down we go. So don't let your chin like Tom's go forward. So let your forehead go to the ground first. So this will hit the ground first if you're travelling in the direction of the end of your mat. You'd think if Tom got smarter every day, he'd practice some of these things. I said to him, I said, come here earlier and I'll do a prep with you. Nah. Nah. <laughs> Down he goes. <laughs> He's got one more. You've got one more chest press and then stay. I'm a guy. Okay, took your toes, took your bottom up into pyramid with the pelvis. So lift your knees up and walk your hands back again. Oh, no. Come on, quickly. Can I get up? Quickly. Lay your head high and roll your spine up. And go straight to your squat. Oh, come on. And roll down. Big inhale at the base of your roll down. And big exhale as you walk into your plank. As you go into your plank this time, bend the knees, lower them to the ground, and reposition your hands. Thank you, Tom. And then exhaling, hover your knees and stay. So everyone, hover your knees. I'm having to change some of the positions I've planned because Tom's doing the opposite. Rubbish. Allow your head now to look down at your knees. Okay, final um, warm up is to lower the knees down on the inhale and exhale, pull them back up again. Inhale deep into the ribs to create space in the spine, exhaling, pelvic floor, and up you go. Notice whether both knees are level with each other. Okay, so Tommy, looking at your knees. Yeah, I'm looking at my knees and I'm hurting. Oh, bless. Okay, 
Tom's had enough of that. <laughs> so finally, Tom, stay where you are. Everyone, you're still in all fours, but then find yourself to pyramid. It's the final stretch. In pyramid now, push your seat up and press your heels down, oh. pull your chest back. So, <laughs> Don't you you press your up. heels down without tucking under. Lift and push down. So you push the ground away without dropping your hips down. My hips reach up, my shoulders reach back as you roll and pick up and roll. So can you feel your, qu yeah, your calves? Yeah, of course we can. Okay, it's a killer. All right, Tom needs to lie down on his back. Come on, guys, that is tough. Okay, Tom's lying on his back. He'll clean his glasses while I show you what's happening next. Sorry. Lie on your back. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> lie on your back. Okay. okay. You're lying on your back. I'm you're lying on your my back. Legs are bent. Legs are bent. You're an imprint. I'm Exhaling. An imprint. Curl up and stay. Hold the legs. Easy. And you straight into your hundred position. Okay. I'll hold his legs up because otherwise he's going nowhere fast. Right, Tom, you're going to roll down because you haven't curled up enough. Big breath in. Exhale and curl. So someone like Tom needs to bend his knees a tad. There you go. That's easier, isn't it? So he's beating in, two, three, four, breathing. And out, two, three, four, breathe. Come in, on. two, three, four, breathe. And it should be the ribcage part that expands on the inhaling. Can. And There's an Easter egg in there. <laughs> you had an Easter egg last night. <laughs> okay, see so if you just do another few more. Tom, you're rubbish today. Sorry. Exhale, curl up. I'm going to have to find someone else. Breathe in, two, three, four. You hold the back of your thighs. So people, you've got to get this area here. Okay, Tom's now got it with a little help from his friend. Inhaling and exhaling. Pulling your thighs tight together and then pull your knees into your chest. Breathe and let that go because you're Thank you, you God. Okay, people, up your hop. Let's go. We're going to use the bar because it's kind of easier, especially with someone like Tom in the room. No, come on, cut out. That's victimization. First position at the come bar on. is going to be parallel. So Tom's going to stand. With his feet parallel. The hair okay. The hair's amazing. On camera. Okay. Stand with your legs as close together as you can. So if you're in parallel, you're here. Core connect and then go straight to the first squat. In your first squat, bend the knees, Tom. So you're in your squat. You can use your hands against a work surface, a chair or whatever. Just give you a few moments to sort your life out. And exhaling, roll to tiptoes without your knees going too far forward. Okay. So exhale, pick up your heels much better and lower. So the aim would be that it's the knee joint. Can you see if I get out of the way? It's the lift and a lower, exhaling. So as you start this rolling up and down with the ankle joint, Good nothing day. changes in the pelvis. Actually, Tom, it's the best thing you've done today. Oh, oh, oh. So you go, don't clap, you're not that good. No hands. Go. So as you're rolling up and down, you should feel the muscle that leads to your knee and some of the glutes. Okay, Tom, keep your hands on the bar. Go to tiptoes and stay, everyone. On the next breath out, and stand tuck, up. Your, tuck your bottom under and then come up to Whoa. stand and stay with your fingertips on the bar. So Tom, now stood. You can give yourself a wave if you want. Well done, Tom. Okay, final. It just takes so long to teach. Now we know why groups are so slow when Tom's in them. Breathing out, bend the knees so that they go forwards towards your work surface or your chair. Stay there, Tom, breathe. Oh. We're just warming up, lengthening as you go down an inch and up an inch. So you need to move as easily, as much as you can through this area here without tucking under. So your seat bones feel as though they're reaching for your heels and your chest stays upright and your inhale's a proper inhale. That's your chin, not your chest. Go all the way up to stand, roll through your heel ankle position, go back down, quickly do it in turn out. This is only meant to take moments. <laughs> Find your plie squat, so you're hinging back. Big breath in, same thinking. Exhale to pick up to tiptoes, so we're in turnout. Picking up to tiptoes, you're hinged in the squat position. You can take your hands away if you want. Just two more. Exhale to roll through the ankle, and roll through the ankle, and put your heels up and stay. Yeah. Now, tuck your bottom under. So Happy Easter. Exhale, breath, tuck under and go all the way up. Keep your heels together, Tom, please. Sorry, darling. And then you've got your plie ballet dancer like. So Tom's inner ballerina coming out as he plies down. Breathe, 
without tucking under, don't tuck under, and back up. Exhale down, so don't tuck under. Yeah, you've got to, it feels like your seat bones reach backwards. Breathe, exhaling. Okay, stay there, stay. So you're in turn out here, just stay there, and you're going to do that whole. You're my knee crack. I did hear your knee crack. Try and use your glutes. Put your, so you pull your thigh bones out, you don't kind of pull your knees out, it's your thigh that leads to the knee joint. Go down and stay, oh. and then take your heels away no. so you're going to be in parallel. You go back to parallel, and then you've got your hip hitch. So you're going to hitch your hip up and down. So do you know how to do a hip hitch? It's like, um, go on, it's like doing a bit of Zumba. Nearly. <laughs> He's just shaking his bottom. Shaking, okay, right? and down. Okay, let's start the workout. That was your warm up. No. It was. So you next sumo. And then star, sumo, star. Okay, down and up, and down and up. You don't necessarily have to be in turnout, you don't have to have wide legs. It's about finding that position where you have a momentary balance. We're going to stay this time, so we're going sumo. Your hair's lobbing today. Star, shut up, get on with it. So, can you hold your star? Hold, hold, and then tap, tap. So this stability <laughs> is what I'm demonstrating and Tom certainly isn't. Sorry. All right, so wake up the side bottom. The arch is active and we've got one more. Hold, find your position. Take your arms if you want to reach them and you're holding your shape. It's your diagonal line. You're in neutral and let that go. Over the other side, bend, extend. Find your balance, diagonal line, reach or reach. I'm rubbish. Or reach, you are rubbish, reach. Okay, stay and then tap, tap and tap. So you're in neutral, your hip bones are level with each other. We'll see how Tom's oh, doing. Oh, come on, that's not fair. No, no, no. I'm rubbish today, I'm rubbish. Okay, so now we're ready, we're nice and warmed up. So the first thing you're going to do is find your squat. I'm going to show you from different positions. So your squat, that means you're here, okay, in the squat, and then you're going to take the leg out and lift. Oh, on, so we're feeding back into the warm up you've just done as you go down and up. If you want to, you can tap that knee as you come down and open, tap the knee. So my bottom's going back, so I sit into it and open out of it. So it's a much deeper version than the one you just did. Good one. I like okay, it. Do you, oh Tom likes this one, so shall we have a look at what he's doing? No. Let's see what you're doing, Tom. So keep going everyone. Um, just be conscious of not twisting. So sit your bottom back, Tom. Come on. Come back up. Sit your bottom back. Yeah. Don't let this leg go behind. So the leg that's in the air needs to stay aligned. So as you bend and sit into it's, your bottom. It's killing my glutes. <laughs> Okay, he's going to do two more. Okay, one. And two. two. There we go. All right, he's then going to face the bar. Oh, jeez. Come over here and do the other side. So, so, you can either turn around or face your chair and do exactly the same the other side. So, you find your squat. Are you turning around? What do you want me to do? Oh, sorry, yeah. So, yeah. Got it. so you can do it here. Right and the off, okay? Do you now understand? I do. So, let's set you up slowly. So, find your squat. Then take the other leg away. Once the leg's away, you're going to go down and lift. Wow. So this arm can come off and lift. There you go. So you've got one arm on the chair. The leg's going away and your bottom's sitting back. So it's going to sit back. You oh, sit into your seat. So just keep going. So you've got this diagonal line. So as you're working here, can you see that there's a diagonal line? So my um, leg that's reaching away is in a line with my, uh, to my armpit. So is mine. And the bottom and my standing leg are hinging at the hip. Nothing in the front of the hip. Tom's doing his version, Come which is on, fine. It's excellent. Okay, and let Please. that go, Tom. All right, go straight into, turn around and face. <laughs> no, <laughs> we haven't finished. So... <laughs> We're standing here and find your squat and immediately 
roll down. Happy Easter. And go into your plank position. So walk into plank. Oh my word, Tom, listen to me for a change. Okay. Okay, we're in plank. Can you imagine in our house that he just doesn't listen? All the evidence is here. Oh. Stay where you are. Right, in this plank position, either do knees lowering lifting or knee pull. So Tom's going to bend his right leg. Oh, he's going to lift and lower. So that's version one, is the lift and lower. If you're lifting and lowering, try and keep your ankles where they are. Feel the difference, Tom? Yes. Okay. And now he's going to demonstrate how to do the single knee pull. So stay on your plank, pull your right knee under you without tucking under, and push back. Don't pull your knee so far under you that it's... Try the other leg. No, I didn't say go fast. You're not in the gym. Breathe. It's a Pilates move. So your pelvis should stay absolutely level. Your shoulders away from your neck. Oh, come on. Everything reaching. All right, and the next time he's going to come down. Richard and I are going to take a break. Okay, so you'll stand now. So everyone stand up and find you. I'll take you. I'll show you where you are. You're going to come to here into your plie position again and just sit down into plie. Open through the chest. Your position is sides. So Tom, take your feet wider for you. Okay, you sit down here, your back's flat, your feet are turned out, take your arms and pick up to tiptoes. So you're going up into your toes and lower down, breathe. Breath out, pull your hip bones, navel to spine here, so you've got to connect there. So, put one hand on the bar, no, so okay. you're not good enough not to. I'm okay, no you're not okay. What is it about people that do a level that they're not able? So you should be able to um, feel happy. symmetrical. He's happy. Just do two more. I showed up. Do one more. It's all about showing up. That's how you start. Okay, and stay. Happy Easter. Stay there. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> and plant your heels down, okay? And once your heels have gone down. Good Friday. Put one hand on one knee and just take the side bend position, reach, go back up, other hand, palm to the ceiling, and side bend, reach and back and sit deeper down side bend reach keep your ankles pulling this is good wide keep your thighs okay and then take your arms forwards in this position you roll reaching until your hands are on the floor then take both hands to the sides of your feet and stretch right up breathe head hanging tall Tuck your bottom under everyone and you're ready now for your lunge sequence. Oh. So you're going to turn to face your equipment. So turning to face the bar. Now that you're facing the bar, stay facing the bar and... Am I doing okay? Yeah, pick up your back leg. All right, no, so, okay, it's here. His back, your back leg, find your lunge position, okay? See so there. So your front knee is um, slightly over the ankle. Pelvic position is neutral. Lower down and up. We're not, mess we're not trying to kill you just here because we're going to add something to it. So Tom, um, we'll go place the bar, Tom. There, put your heel forwards a bit more. This one? No, this one. Take your foot, leg, foot back and down we go. Pick up your heel. Okay, so Tom... It's classic, he wants to let his heel drop. So everyone, we're now ready to move, so stay where you are. You've found the start position. Start. Right, listen to me. Tom's going to breathe out and let his left arm float to the side and turn and watch it and go down an inch and come back up a bit and pull the arm back. So you're going to go exhaling, a tiny bit of rotation without the hips being involved and back. And we go down. Don't tuck under, Tom, you're tucking under. Thank you. And come back. Go two more. Now the rotation is the upper thoracic area, the head, the neck, the shoulder area. One more. And again, your heel's gone. Apart from that's incredible. And come back up. Okay, from that position, Tom's going to switch legs. Excellent, because you've got a crappy knee. <laughs> so step back. If you can, in the setup, get your diagonal line, okay? And then you come back. In your diagonal line, pull your knee but there. Now take this leg a bit further back and get your heel up. There you go. Okay. So Tom's now looking better than he's ever looked in all of his life. 
Remember, this knee doesn't come forward, does it? The movement is derived through the thigh muscles going down. Stay there, Tom. Stay. Yeah. Keep this heel and you've got your rotation. So now it's your other arm that's going to flow out. So the back leg, it's that arm that's doing the rotate. Obviously, if you um, can't do it easily, then simply um, minimise it. Don't go as deep down, but you should be getting rotation. Bigger breath in. So, Tom, you've got to go back to breathing properly. <laughs> oh, come on, you're through it. And up, and away we go. Okay, Tom's favourite move now is the arabesque. Oh, my so, this is what we're going to do. <laughs> you're going to stand away from your work surface because you might want to use the floor. He's going to put his hat on. Find your position here. Have a slight bend at the knee. Slight bend at the knee. Okay, and then take your hands down. With your hands down, reach your right leg backwards and then send it up in the air. So find your diagonal line and hold. Hold. See if you can go as reaching as you can. So in this position, your standing leg is bent. The shoulders, and you're on fingertips, Tom. See if you can pull your shoulder blades together. There you go, you just got your lats and strats involved. So it's a lengthening out. Look at that, Steve Davis, eat your heart out. Come on, okay. Steve. So he's going to bend his standing knee a tad and then straighten it, pushing down into the heel top, not the toes. So as you straighten, it's heel, not toes. I'm trying. Straighten. Come on, Steve. Lift up. Go on, I'll do this bit of you. No. There. That's nice, isn't it? Okay, one more. And bring the other leg down. Oh, yeah. Stay. Centre the body. Oh, okay. Let's get myself right here. And he wants to get himself right. So remember, you hinge at the hips. So your sitting bones stay in neutral. You soften off at the knees so there's no lockout and your hips stay over your ankles. You go down without the back rounding. Pick up the other foot's tiptoes and send the leg up. Now, as you push down through one leg, you reach up through the other, pull your lats and strats away. You've got to imagine doing it. Now I'd say to Tom on this side, because it's tighter, bend your knee, so bend this leg, pull the heel to the ceiling. There you go, and lift. So you'll find you have one side, <laughs> you're <now> straight. <laughs> so hips have twisted. <laughs> Two more. <laughs> one more. Give me a break, woman. Oh. Okay, next. Come on, Steve, you had to be better than that. Quick stretch. Okay, so this is a stretch sequence to finish off your legs. You have. Oops. <laughs> you have one foot um, pointing forwards towards the screen that you're watching and the other leg bent. With the other leg bent, turn your shoulders so you're level. So this foot is pointing it away. I can see my foot. First thing you'll do is breathe out and forwards roll the ribcage part of the spine until both hands are on the floor. I haven't rolled out of my ankle or my back foot and you can deepen if you want, just push and pull. So in other words, bend that leg further and lower the hips. Exhale. And then stay with the leg bent and take your arm nearest the screen up. Put your other hand onto your thigh oh, come on. and come all the way, all the way up. <laughs> Turning round. So now the other leg that you've just been into is now pointing to your screen. Your other foot pointing away and your shoulders initially are square. Big breath in. Exhaling. Bend the ribcage part of the spine until both hands are on your thigh. Breathe. You'll feel the oblique stretch along with the hips and then you roll the rib cage into a bent position and you keep pushing the ground away with both legs hands are level either side of the knees and then bend that front knee a bit more and so i'm going to move my hand away i'm bending and keep going tom bend don't let your ankle collapse though so this should be solid now do it can you feel the difference yes so you keep the ground by keeping your foot from rolling. To finish that off, point your foot that's pointing away to the screen. So both feet pointing to the screen. Okay. And put both hands now oh, centered. I can tell. Big breath in. Look at that. Okay, and pull your ankles right out sideways. So you've got this kind of lift through the arch. What do you mean? 
like that. So you'd rather than roll them in. Do okay. that. You're doing good. Okay. Let your heads hang. Walk your hands together. Yeah. Yeah, like that. Well, there's only one way to take your hands together, isn't there? And then see if you can walk your feet together like you're doing a, a one, two, three, four. Two your feet come in. Yay! So rotate the thigh bone. Rotate, rotate, rotate. And then tuck the chin in and roll the spine up. Right, we're ready for our raffles, and that exciting. So what Tom's going to do now is lie on his back. Excellent. Middle mat. Keep going, guys. It can only get worse. So lying oh. down. <laughs> you never told me it was this tough. I asked you to come for a warm up. I no, did. No, I no, cycled. He, he cycled. That's his warm up. You'd think he were, was married to a a gym bunny rather than a Pilates jack. teacher. A okay. Jack. The first activity you're going to do is the oblique. So your hands will be behind your head, but not just yet. Reach your hands forward, big breath in. Just, just today, today would be good. Okay. Exhaling, curl up through the head, neck and shoulders and stay. Put your hands ready for your thighs. Bring one leg up into tabletop. I stay in neutral. In imprint always. Oh, okay. Put legs in the air. Just technical. Technical. Just technical. Okay, it's brought both legs up in the air. The position he's now going to do to, as an assessment is send his left leg away and lower it down to the floor. Keep it straight. Don't drop it to the floor. Pull it back to there and big breath in. So breathing out, you'll extend the other leg away from you. You'll drive it strengthened, long and energised to the floor and pull it back up again and bend it in. Okay, this it's now becomes interesting. Right it here. is, yeah. So, so now I'm breathing out. Can you now listen to me? It's changing. That was the warm up. Yeah. So what Tom's now going to do is send his left leg away in a diagonal line. Check. He's now going to put his left hand behind his head. Check. So he's got left hand left behind leg. his head, cradling his skull, not jamming it. Now inhale, flow down through the head, neck, and shoulders. And exhale as you come up, low this leg all the way down. And inhale, back down you go, head, neck and shoulders. Exhale, curl and lower that leg away from you. Inhale down. So Tom's jamming into this side, try not to hold it as deeply. As you come, keep the leg straight. As you come up, you pull your armpit over to the opposite thigh as it goes down and up. So this should get you right through the rib cage to the hip bones. How's that feeling, Tom? It's got me. And breathe. You got me, baby. Breathe out and up. So your gaze on this one, keep going, Tom, if you can. You're in my gaze. It should be beyond this thigh. So don't try and look at the screen. Look beyond this thigh. So you're looking beyond the right um, hand thigh position if it's your right leg that's bent. Two more. And this leg is stretching Please, out. Please, give us a break. Okay, he's going to pull both knees in and put his head down. Put your knees to your chest because you clearly need a break. Everyone else, you don't have to have a break. You can just do the 100 position for a moment. Okay, Tom, we're coming up to do the other side. Today would be good. It's going to be easy today before we finish here. So this time, send your other leg away. So that's the leg that's going to move. Put your other hand behind your head. So whichever leg is straight, that hand goes behind the head. Start off the movement, make energy through the legs. Your pelvis, don't let it twist. And exhale as you curl up, lower the leg down, and inhale, pull back. Your back should not leave the floor all the way through this. Um, there should be not the sense of jamming the lumbar, but the feeling that the pelvis stays true um, and there's, there's no kind of real um, involvement of the pelvis except it's stable, okay? Exhaling and rotate. You'll find you've got one side that's a little bit easier to rotate and breathe out and rotate. reach. Two more. And the last one. Pull both knees into your chest. And quickly put both heels on the floor right under your knee joint. Yeah. Both heels on the floor under the knees, push your hands and press down on the floor. So imprint all of the back of your arms to the floor, big breath in. Feel for the heels, exhale, let the ribs come down, push your knees forwards. Okay, pull your thighs together and stay. Now pick up your right heel to tip foot to tiptoes and send that leg away again, similar to the previous position. Now roll your spine down. Rib cage melts behind the heart and inhale, exhale, roll back up. Reaching that leg, big breath in. 
Breathing out. The ribs melt first and they lower you down. If you keep your thighs next to each other, Tom, you'll know where they are. Exhaling up. Obviously in this position here, the hips twist. So try and resist the um, shimmy of the hip bones or the pelvic position. And it's all about the rib cage connect and hamstrings and glutes. One more. When you come out of this one with the leg reaching, put your other heel down. Ground both heels. Ground both heels. Make, make sure your thighs are parallel. Exhale and away we go again. Pushing into heels. Now both heels together. Push up and stay. This time it's your other leg, the one you didn't have in the air last time. So Tom's going to reach. No, it's uh, this one. Tom can't even remember which leg you've just done. Okay, Tom. <laughs> Press your hands into the ground. So you're deliberately imprinting the whole of the upper body. That doesn't work as well, does it? It will in a minute. It will, will it? Remember, it's still the movement of the spine. So you want that sense of creating space as your spine comes down. Remember, it's the inhale that creates the length in the spine. The exhale claims that space you made and controls movement patterns. Press through your heel. Tom, pull your, other, your heel under you a bit more. It'll be easier. There you go. Now go. That's better. Yeah. Okay, just do one more. It's a heel push with the breathing out muscles and back down. Okay, the next thing Tom's going to do is quickly pull his knees into his chest. With both thighs in, he's going to hold on to his right thigh. Hold on with right thigh, both hands. So, hold on to your right thigh with Got both it. hands. Just your right thigh. And then your other leg's going to go down and exhaling, curl up. Now switch legs. What do you mean? Switch. And let that leg go down. Inhale, don't rest it down, you nutter. Let the head go down and switch. Okay, if you want to keep your head up, you can, but you've got to curl up, you've got to curl up, Tom, so curl up and stay, you stay up there. So if you stay up, you get this real zip and hollow, and yeah, the whole idea of having this leg pulling in is that it will pull you to it. Can you feel the difference, Tom? Oh, it's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's called single leg stretch. Um, it's getting excellent. Okay, two more. And last one, and let that go. Quickly, Tom's going to go onto his front. So quickly over onto your tummy, Tom. Okay, darling. Tom's tummy. Tom's chubby tummy. Tom's chubby tummy. Okay, um, lying on your front, have uh -huh, your okay. arms like so. So Tom, have your arms like this. So having your arms outside, like this. No, 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 bend, bend there. Let your head come up, don't rest your glasses on the floor. So already, you've got your elbows slightly lower than your armpits, your hands are pressing against the floor, and your glutes are active, <laughs> and your feet are level <laughs> with each other. Okay. Always so gentle and kind. Breathe. He's going to first of all fire up his bum muscles, so he's going to draw the pelvic floor and pull the glutes in sideways up into his knickers. The next thing he's going to do is push his crown of head nose forwards, pull his chest off, stay. If all of that's stayed here and his belly, abdomen's in, his bum's firing, he's going to lift up higher in the equivalent of cobra. Have a huge inhale, Add Tom, in to take that the, space. The cobra committee. The cobra committee, yes, the one that's meeting. We're in the cobra committee, everybody. Big breath in. We're going to relax the lockdown today. Exhaling, and he's going to lay the rib cage down. Don't drop your head, no, you, your head comes down last of all. Big breath in. Exhale, pull your shoulders away from your neck, pull your cleavage chest, sternum forwards, 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 pull your armpits back in your mind, Whoa. and now let your left leg reach up. Stay with the left leg up and lower it down again, and push through your right armpit on this one, Tom. So you've now got a diagonal sense of the left-hand side armpit to the left glute, and the obliques are active throughout, and you feel the lengthening through the upper spine, one more Tom with that left leg reaching and then the leg goes down oh. and he lowers down. No, 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 lower down, we're changing. Okay, big breath in. Breathing out, repeat that um, thoracic extension. So cleavage, chest, sternum forwards. You need to find more into your right arm. Okay. Shh. Ah, this is my game, not yours. Find this muscle here, okay. it's your lat and it's the other leg. So now Tom's got his right leg lifting. Therefore, his left armpit more active. 
The lift is a reach, Tom. It's not a kind of throw up and down, it's a reach. Every breathing, so breathe in properly and then breathe out. Isn't that better? Now breathe in and breathe out. T Tom kind of is now breathing. All right, so you've got the connection from diagonal. One more. You're feeling your leg reach. Your armpit oh. hand is going to come all the way, all the way down. Come on, massage. All right, from that come position on. there. No, I'm not massaging. He's going to come up into kneeling. Okay, once he's kneeling upright, he's going to be kneeling like so. And he's got his backwards knees. That's it. So you take on board everything that was here. Exhale, core connect. Aren't you glad it's Easter? Breathe in, drop this. There, that's better. Okay, go back and stay, everyone. Go back and stay. <laughs> back and stay. Turn to the car park and reach your left arm backwards. And come back in without twisting your whole body. So you just turn the head better. And back. And again. You want to, which yeah, way? you can alternate, yeah. So the ideal here would be that only the shoulders move whilst you maintain the openness of the hip. There you go, Tom, you're doing it. That's it. So open hip and return. Open hip and let that go. All right. We want one exercise to finish off. So sit on your bottom. Which way? Please I'm going to quickly do it. So, so you sat up really tall. Have your legs straight or bent and do a backwards lean. Once you've got your backwards lean, pull your hip bones back. Have your arms here. If you need to bend your legs, you can, but we're going to do the alternating oblique. So you're going to go pull down to the side of the hip, come back, pull down to the side of the hip. So in one of our sessions, we did the Russian twist. So this is reminiscent of the Russian twist. Now the bigger you take your arms, the bigger... Now Tom's thighs are moving, which means his twist is too big. I'm lucky to so be alive. You are. So Tom, as you twist, don't let your hips move. You twist again should only originate, so don't go as, as wide. Your twist originates from your rib cage. Relax your shoulders, okay? You sh and if your hips and knees are moving, so are sliding sideways. I'm dying. I'm dying. <laughs> okay, I'm then dying. stay. I'm dying. I'm dying. <laughs> Come all the way up. Ugh. And reach over your knees. Breathe, 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 breathe. And breathe some more. And some more. So your forwards flexing over your um, thighs. I'm just trying to mobilise Tom, <laughs> who's a stiff Look at that. Board. Look at that. Okay, last time. <sighs> and he's going to sit up tall. Thank you. And here end of the session. Oh, fantastic. Um, we hope you enjoyed it. Obviously, it really is a TNT moment. Thank you so much, guys. <laughs> um, if you missed the video in terms of doing it and just watched it, then that's fine. Um, Tom's obviously thoroughly enjoyed this. He's now going to hang on me forever. Um, how... I, was, I was an excellent pupil. An amazing student. Okay. My technique, Steve, okay. is fantastic. You can speak to them in your own time. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> Have a great Easter, everybody. Have a fantastic Lots Easter, love. genuinely. And there are 16 videos. I probably will over next week post two technical videos. Tom's just going to die. <sighs> He's longing that the camera's off him. All right, so there is no more video live happening in the next week, um, week really, because we're going behind the scenes to spend all of our time getting everything ready for the next 10 week block, which is all subscribed through Zoom and um, Facebook community. All right, but you must have an amazing Easter. But break out the champagne. Correct. I'll get a stretcher for this man here. It's a goodbye from us. Bye. Bye bye, bye bye.